grow. And we are live at reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. We have a, a Banjo playoff today. That's right. It's the uh, Banjo. What do you call your harmonica? I don't call it anything. Oh, well, it's not Banjo's in, it's harmonica's. Ah. And this is Flash at the Dork Table on the 16th of November, 2019. And I got my co-hostage this week, Mr. Vinny. Vinny Smack. Vinny, Vinny Smack. has come to play hostage at my yeah. table of totalitarianism. I'm uh, <laughs> here for the smackdown, my friend. Wait, what are you calling this today? I'm being Whoa. punished for what? For, for wait, we must, we must say hey <laughs> and thank you to the good one. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. G. Thank you very much for all that you do, sir. Yeah, great, great, great broadcast. I got the last half left. You, you see the oh, shit around my nose? Can, can you smell that? Hey, smell that? No. No? Okay. Yeah. Well, I just did a little more ass kissing than I normally do. But uh, he deserves it. He deserves it even from the dork table now and again. How do you like his new Nick? Hey. Yeah, I was calling him Big Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the Rums came in with the hugs. Uh oh. So we call, we're calling him, and when I say we, I say me. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big Papa Sweet Cheek. Well, today, today's show will be entitled, You Will Be Punished for Using Your Imagination. So, if I was you, I wouldn't even answer that question. Stand on the fifth like a good American. Oh. <laughs> say hi to the what? bots and bodies there, Wilbur. All right, you want to switch out? I'll say barman, you say beetle. I'll say grimner, you say anti. Uh, I, say, I say asmo, man. you say chalcedony. Yeah. I say echelon, you yeah. say java doctor too. Yeah. I say judge dread, you say yeah. monster brow. Right. I say poopster, you say prince. I say Kate's, you say rob works. I say Rome's, you say Vanna white. I say Vinny smack. Pat. You say weather dork. Yep. Okay, Sounds go. Good to me. Go. You want to pick up a no. phantom? Go ahead. You're doing good. <laughs> I like that. You go. Say Phantom. The Phantom is here. Oh, it's the Phantom. CC66. Choscura. He's I've got quiet. a case of the Choscura. Oh, hello, uh, he's, honey. And then very, uh, very quietly. I mean, They're single. Yeah, right between Cyborg Noodle and Choscura. What a place uh, to be on a board. Donna. Huh? Damn, then. Hey, me. damn, how you doing? Duh. Let's end, Siv. End, Siv. Greetings say you to say, myself. Say you. Yay, Flash, somebody. Hello, and Frumpy. Frumpy. So I'm going to say two. Frumpy. Frumpy works, too. Yeah. yeah. And he you knows. You can say Gromit, and I'll know? say I am Lone Frog. But Jay's Nines and Jay's is just logged on, but he doesn't play. Yeah. Well, there's pancakes. Hey, mental! What the hell's going on? Uh, cakes. Yeah, mental cakes. I know mental. Oh, it was free enslaved with the with the hugs and not. Oh, uh, it's free enslaved with the hugs. Oh, how sweet. See, Grimner, don't forget, he's like an elephant, right? Ouch. <laughs> well, he does have a computer. Probably got a ah. dartboard with certain pictures and names on it too. <laughs> I was ad libbing. Okay. Here's what? pawn sauce. Pawn sauce. Pawn sauce. Pawn sauce. Yeah. And who's this? Pan sauce. This guy. Uh, this next person. This? Raptor. Raptor McJesus face. That sounds silly, doesn't it? I just totally ridiculous. The Jews probably yeah. get a kick out of it, though. I think so, too. Sock puppet. Well, the Jews like slapstick. You know, we can't help it. We like seeing people slap each other around for our entertainment. Well, I'm playing it's a long story today because that's why my name is Mini Smack. It's Smack Stick. Yeah, it's that. Vinny Smack Stick. Yeah. Shall I add the rest? I think okay. you should. Well, say hello to Mr. Salt Lake City himself. Uh-oh, Mikey. What's Mikey? up? Slim Jim Flim. He's Slim, a feather. Slim Jim. Yes, he's the feller that likes his name said in full. Yeah, twice. Uh, I don't understand. Yeah, there's Ego. Just nicknames. Wow, well, uh, look at you and your your name, you big baby. I make up all kinds of names. You can't call me a name that I can't call myself. Sir. Oh, okay. 
Ha! You're, you're probably right with me. I'm not going to argue. I'm only going to argue about what I don't agree How smart are you, Michael? Huh? Yeah. It's Fredo that's smart. Fredo. Oh, wow. Fredo. Fredo's so smart. Is but, he as holy as the Roger himself? In well, the no, he's dead. They shot him in the lake and dumped him over. Because he was a very bad aim, apparently. They only shot him in the leg? No, they killed him. Oh. Dumped him in the lake. Maybe. Did they wait him down? Probably not. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, he, well. He had a big mouth, though. Oh, man. No, he tried to get his brother murdered. That would be kind of fucked up. I can't yes, even so. imagine. I've had yeah. some real bad arguments with my brother, but I wouldn't pay somebody to shoot him while he was asleep. Or that, what if you guys were crime bosses and stuff and you wanted to like push him out? Nah, I, I don't I don't think I'm like that. I don't think I'd be a good crime boss. So nah. But you know what I do have for the dork table this week? I have something that I found rather amusing and I'm gonna post it as a link. Huh? You threatened me with this earlier. I'm going to post it on the main feed of the RealLibertyMedia.com chat for your perusal. And it is entitled, Most Underrated Political Slogan. And the slogan was, They Can't Lick Our Dick. There you go. Yeah, that was uh, that was Tricky Dicky uh, Richard Nixon back <laughs> in the 1972 campaign. I believe it would have been. Yeah. See, or so licking a dick changed like since we was like little kids. Because I was a little kid when they did this. Yeah. But I don't remember anybody laughing about it. But now they're going, "Hey, can't lick a dick like that anymore, you crazy fuckers." <laughs> It well, means something different. I suspect somebody had a little chuckle when they come up with it. It they, says because, right there, McGovern can't they, lick our dick. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cruel. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure they had a chuckle with that one. <laughs> but yeah, I'm listen, having you know, a most, chuckle with most, it now. <laughs> most people are not that smart. See, what? they would never suspect that there was actual pun in the pudding. What? No. Say it ain't so. It is so. No, don't lie to me, Vinny. I I want to I'm stay. Not. I want I'm to stay not. ignorant. I'm not lying to you. But lie to me instead, so I can stay ignorant. And should I open me. this link? Oh, I think you should. I'll do it. If you didn't, you should have. What is? I opened it. Should we define what flam is <laughs> first? What? Wait, uh, what yeah. link are you talking about? I don't know. I, is, uh, oh, well, I was talking about slam jam flam. Oh, uh, flim flam. You know, flim flam Mike's man. just putting up it's, yeah definitions. It's uh kind of related. Mm -hmm. This is flim flam. What is this link that you posted about it, tricky dicky? It's flim flam. Republican slogan. It's they still? can't lick our dick. <sighs> That's it. That's the wholeness. It's still it's funny. Buttons. Three buttons. Where's the it's, There's no write-up? It's still funny. No, it's still funny. Oh. This is the length of the write-up. Wow. So you I want... A writer. Hey, All I got to do is a paragraph. I can do a paragraph. If, a if, week? If, no problem. If you want reality on bottom. the dork table, you're going to have a long way. <laughs> okay. Well, let me right. read this because... Yeah. It, Why it don't you do that, because man? Because it's so short, it's probably very condensed. But Condensed. You're condensed. Like yeah, you're listen, like listen. I need to open your brain pan, and we're going to pour this in and let it sizzle a little bit, okay? One of the more humorous uh, unofficial historic campaign slogans was, they can't lick our dick, which was used on at least four different campaign buttons for Richard Nixon. Another classic was, don't change dicks. <laughs> 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 Vote for Nixon in 72. <laughs> well, Why? I'm Is giving, that funny I'm or what? Them, I'm giving them an A plus because you know, <laughs> that 
I didn't pre-read anything, and that right there, just I seen where it was going. Yeah, but you know what? I thought, let's have a fun dork table this week. So I thought we'd start out by bashing Richard Nixon. We can work our way up to whoever. First of all, I'd like to say I'm not a crook. Hmm. There, that's official now, right? Well, well, he actually did say something similar to that. He said, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not a crook. I earn every penny I have. That's what he said. Close enough. Well, okay. Never mind. <clears throat> okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, Mr. Plagiarist. If you're going to plagiarize somebody, at least plagiarize the person you're plagiarizing. Don't I just paraphrase close enough. plagiarize, sir. Paraphrase plagiarism is not an exact quote. Yeah, but you were talking about the great big dick. And I'm sorry, but the great big dick deserves the responsibility of research. And You know, he was from Loma Correct. Linda, California. He lived out there. No, he's um, from Whittier. Well, I think he lived in Loma Linda then. Well, no, it was... Uh, Whittier and Loma Linda are not that far apart. It was La Mirada that was next to Whittier, not Loma Linda. I've been to Whittier Boulevard, dude, when I cruised. <laughs> yeah, I grew up on Whittier Boulevard. What about it? No way. Well, really, did you always see the low right? You saw, you used to go see the low riders? Fuck yeah, I used to see low riders when I didn't want to see fucking low riders. <laughs> I've been pretty near everywhere. Nice. But yeah, Whittier you Boulevard. To, uh, right? uh, yeah, what about yeah. uh, 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 Venice Beach? I wasn't big on the beach. Not in the daytime. I'd go to the beach at night, and then usually Huntington. I liked uh, like where well, people didn't so much go, and if they did, I could park my van out there and blast the stereo, and nobody would complain. That kind of beach. I was uh, first beach ever. No went homes, no life. businesses, none of that shit. Huntington Beach, first beach I ever went to. I was probably four or five years old, I reckon. You you are very welcome, sir. I went to Huntington Beach when I was on the run in the uh, last half of the eighties and I'd gone for a walk and my buddies was there. They got a had got a ticket when I can't, can't I'd got back for uh, drinking on the beach. They had beer in a cup and they got tickets for it. Yeah. They would have caught me probably man. Shit. Sure. I was me being busy being me running around roaming about. I was all up on the uh, the boardwalk. Not mm-hmm. under the boardwalk, out of the sun. Yeah. And? Uh, yes, I was on the boardwalk mm-hmm. yeah, well, I used out to, in the sun. I used to drive Beach Boulevard the boardwalk. from the 91 all the way down to the water and back. And along on both sides of the road, stop at all the places that I had made plans to pick up their scrap metal. And then I'd drive it in the morning, and I'd go dump it off and get paid cash for what I picked up. So there was no reason in the world to try to, you know, let other people, you know, know I was doing it. You know Where I mean? was you getting scrap metal at? And like gas stations, uh, stores that had like plumbing fixtures, shit like that, that they'd throw out. Oh, you'd go down I'd go to, no, I would go right to the people that work there and tell them, hey, look, I'm making money off this shit late at night, trying to pay my way through this and that. I was like 16. Yeah. Go, hey, let me come by and pick your shit up so I don't get arrested looking through your crap. And they go, oh, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, if you come by, we'll tell the cops there's a little red truck. Got okay to do this. And I did really? it for probably the best of a summertime. Yeah. You'd be amazed the shit you can find in parking lots when you're looking like yeah, yeah, especially used to a lot of people got into that stuff. Before. Well, I got out of it though. I started into it when I was young, fifteen, sixteen. I wanted to have gas money, but where do you get work? So you have to create work. And the, one of the jobs that I had was working at uh, what was that? The start of the Golden West um, Ballroom, kind of like off the books as like a helper, throw me a few bucks for doing weird shit. And one of the things was cleaning up the parking lot. And every once in a while, I'd suddenly drop a bag of weed. <laughs> you know, and all the beer cans I could find, I could have all that. Cash it in. Plus, I got paid for cleaning it up. That's the way to do it, yeah. Well, when I was young, there wasn't you know, a lot. You had to be creative. Now, shit. I guess you could get a computer and 
go into the banking industry from your house. I doubt it, not without going to prison following that. Why? You can't compete. Well, you can't get into competition. So you franchise. Get a uh, <laughs> get a Bank of America license to be a thief. Wouldn't that be what it would you, be? You'd have you'd have to yeah, definitely go through channels. Well, you think it's I'm impossible? I'm talking to this guy yeah. today. He called yeah. me. I seen him here the other day in town. Hmm. Oh, Charlie. Yeah, he's, he got locked up for saying words, you know. Can't just say words. Wow, what happened to the First Amendment? Freedom of speech, man. How can you be careful with freedom of speech? That is, like, stupid. That not, doesn't even make any fucking sense, dude. Be right. careful. It, it does if you start... It does if you that. don't live where you, you got any fucking freedom of speech, is what you're saying, right? Yeah, Exactly. Yeah, oh, you, okay. you, uh, you can you can say whatever you want to, but that's not going to change the, the true reality that comes down upon your head. <laughs> Are you going to beat me up if we disagree, Mister Tough Guy? Uh, if if when they make these screens where I can stick my hand through there and give you a stupid slap, I'll, I'll do it just because we're friends and I want to help. Live the dream, there, Vinny. Live the dream. That's what I would do if I was in your shoes. I wonder if uh, the Urban Dictionary, uh, dot .ud in chat will give us something on this. Uh-oh, right? on what? Now what? What? what is you know, it? I, I what? spell stupid with two O's. So of course you do. I spelled it. <laughs> yeah, but what is your obsession with being the ultimate authorita on what is decided? That's well, been that's I, been kind I of can, amusing lately. I can tell lately. you the answer to that. I can, yeah, I can give you the answer to that. Now... You're this rebel guy that don't like rules, so it might not do any good, and I might have to just, like, stuff them down your throat and you gurgle them back out. You've got to stop. You've got to start in order, right? Who? No, I what? don't got to do anything. Where? When? See, Why? the reality of this How? is Grammar you and your... Why? You Better. and your authoritarian force have to push yourself on me to get my... This is a logical step of progression. If you want to be a, a stupid little monkey in the cage throwing your poo-poo at people, then I... Well, sir, listen. All we can do is put up glass so people, innocent people don't get hurt. That's why they don't have the reach-through screen for stupid slaps. People would be throwing poop like monkeys. Think about it. What are you talking about? Who are you accusing of that? <laughs> or are you just saying uh, that about yourself? Because Everybody except for myself, I guess. Like that's you. what I mean. This this thing that you've got about putting yourself up on a foundation of superiority and looking down no, on it's everybody not else. Mine. It's not my superiority. I have well, then whose is I'll it? Say, mine? Listen, if you... If you, if you, and I say you, that's anybody. <laughs> now, I, if you want to make a declarative statement, then you need to be able to lay it out. Okay, to whom do you speak of, right? None so of your damn business. Who? What I are you talking about? Freedom of speech. What? I can say whatever I want, and I don't have to be a. I don't have to be accepted by the great uh, Wazoo okay. at the Real Liberty Media dot com door let's, table named let's Vinny. Walk this down the line. No, you uh, make if demands you said of us. What you wanted to do to somebody oh, went anywhere? Okay. Said I want to shoot this guy in the head next Friday night. Uh, what has that got to do with anything? That's got well, that's going to put you in jail. That's, that's not what, what I'm talking about. Results at the end. Well, I'm talking about words and how they're used, right? And, and I'm talking about speech. you have this authoritarian I, platform that you seem to put yourself on to look no. down on everybody you, else you when like, you sit You like judges. Walter, right? You like Walter. You don't right? let me finish the thing and you're already saying no. How do you know what you're saying because no you to if you won't listen? you it over and over. I hear you. I see you type it in there, but it don't make it true. You put words out of Make it out true. Wow. Right. Because you say I'm a... Trying to win, and I'm the uh, supreme leader, and this and that. Well, you, you don't mind. see that about yourself, Vincent. Maybe no, you, I you stand should. consistent. I'm consistent. You stand in authority. You're the all-knowing, all fucking. I stand in the gap. I don't see it that way. Yeah, I see you. I, do. I see you peacocking. 
Look at my feathers. I'm the peacock. Whoop, 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 whoop. You know what? Because that's what most people are wanting to do. They, I have no care. I don't worry about flashing feathers. I well, don't worry about know. numbers or yeah, uh, yeah. being on people's side yeah, or yeah. saying things that make you feel good. Uh, I'm just talking about, about what what is. What is. And, but yeah. you think it's you're in control of other people's reality? I don't see how that's possible. No. I've been other people have if somebody other wants ideas. To make a declaration to me. If you want to make a declaration to me, then you're going to have to present it in logical uh, order from starting with the grammar and then tell me how all this works. You can't say loopity loop and that's how that came about. And it's like, what are you talking about? What? How, how did it come about? Who, what, when, where? Let's do all of that. Why? Because you said you so. No, see, nah, that's all a bunch not, of crap. Not, if, well, you, you know if, you want to, if you want to be credible, if you mm. want to present some information, credible you and can't make here we go a statement with that of fact shit. and say smart things oh and make it fuck. be true. Look it's at not the, true just because you sound smart saying it. Oh, crying out loud. Vinny, look at the reality that we all have with the electricity and the fucking food and the water and the politics. And you want to penny pinch over fucking words on an internet screen? <laughs> You're crazy. Well, listen, listen. If, what? If, there is if, no got if, to we, about none of it. If this, we want to be real Liberty Media, right? In, in, in oh, our there little, we go with that. Listen, shh, shh, yeah. listen. In our own, listen, in our own little, our own little uh, orb right here, right? We have to have some idea of what we're talking about, right? And if you to say it, and the freedom to be as stupid as you want to be, but be clear about it. Oh, is that what you're saying? <laughs> you took the long way to go there, I'll tell you that, Mr. You're welcome. Sitting in fucking power of authority and always judging everything everybody says. Good God. That's what I do. You're like it. You're There's like a, a Jewish reason. grandma from hell that nobody <laughs> wants to visit. Uh, she's going to bitch about wanting to be in Miami. I don't, don't take me there. Uh. Listen, I only what? do it because we're friends. You know, I let, <laughs> listen, I let these other people out there like on Twitter. I let them think they're being real smart. But listen, I'm trying to help you. I'm not really telling them, oh, you're not being smart at all. No. I like, really, tell me more. Uh-huh. But see, see, but I'm trying to I'm trying to help you, sir. That's the point, Vinny, is you're Our offering average. people free advice. And you know where free advice comes from, right? Listen, it I comes directly to, out of the ass of the person I'm trying to argue with you, and I'm like, you. wait a minute, I just had a question. <laughs> and then want me to ask the question in 50 different ways <laughs> until I ask it in a way that makes you feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you read it? We're, not, we're not in a feel-good business, baby, okay? <laughs> Wow. Truth hurts. <laughs> Are you okay, Vinny? <laughs> You're going to break something if you keep getting excited. You're like going to blow a gasket or maybe a seal. Never mind. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm reading in chat over here. What, 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 what is this? What? I'm the Mysterian. What is that? Vinny smacked his. Vinny is, is blank in the Mysterian from Grimner. Ooh, I don't know. What we're arguing about, your uh, see, then you won't admit it. That's what really is weird. Cause, no, uh, I admit it. I am a judge. Yeah, I'm a witness. First of all, I come as witness. Yeah, and and in being witness, then yeah. I have to what give testimony. That yeah. uh, and I and I do yeah. so with uh, judgmentally. Yeah, you know what I don't uh, also see, uh, as an advocate, right? Yeah. So when when you're right, I say this is where you're right, but. As the judge, I got to say, look, sir, you're you're not presenting this in a proper form and fashion, okay? Yeah. Now, what's so true. wrong about that? Why am I the bad guy? Tell me. Because I, I said mean, so. I, I'm up in this world. I mean, actually doing battle. I was going to get pulled over yeah. uh, Wednesday. Yeah. The cops yeah. up there yeah. head of my road, yeah. and I wave at them when I go by, and they yeah. get in behind us. So I pull my phone out, and yeah. uh, it lights up real bright when I turn on the camera. Yeah. They see that big flask and me like the whole cabin truck up the window. You can see the reflection. So uh, they're all like, uh, they back off. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't want that confrontation. I Ooh. think, it's, you know, maybe it's coincidence. Never leave home without your documentation flask. That is, and 
and guard your words. Wow. I'm talking to this guy today. You know, he went to prison for yeah. uh, being mad at somebody. Said I'd put a bullet in his head. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Then they what they do in there? Oh, you're too violent. And they put him on psychotropic <sighs> drugs. And he's plumb damn near crazy by the time he gets out. Earlier in the first issue. Guard your words. Huh? Hmm. It's a question mark. I don't know. I don't live in your environment, Vincent. Listen. I don't live in all that anger and lock them up and punish them kind of bullshit in the first place. See, that's what what I found out in traveling is that's pretty much just an American or, well, maybe not so much American, but a totalitarian enforced behavior. Because in societies that I like to travel in, I don't seem to have the law jacking me up for shit. So, as a rule, I don't carry any freaking ID any fucking where. I I I haven't for years. I'm not going to in the future. The cops, when I've tried to talk to the cop, he was like, "Ah, I don't want to talk to you, old man. Leave me alone. I have to be standing here trying to catch somebody speeding where nobody speeds. Question mark in the Mysterians, 96 years. I guess that's a song. And that was like two and a half, three years ago when that happened. And I haven't seen a cop face to face since. So I like to carry hmm. my laminated piece of paper that says "Real Liberty Media" on it. Yeah. Well, right, but you live in a land that has been engulfed <laughs> in enforcement and protection and weapons and protect this and protect all that shit. Fight, 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 fight. War, 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 war. And I, I'm lucky to be away from all that. But I get to reminisce with you on the door table. About it. <coughs> Dang it! Because I've got, to, I'm gonna have to quit smoking. These, mm-hmm. My lungs are still whack. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do radio Friday. Ooh. Oh, ta-da! Yeah, yeah I know. Circle, she go to the end it. Mm-hmm. I think she was want me to come back and do radio. I don't have it fully in me, but I'm gonna mm-hmm. try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put together a broadcast this week. See what I mean? You think? Well, you got a big ego there, Mister. I think well, that. she wouldn't answer my question last Friday. So well, that's because to try to, she wasn't. I'm going to have to try to present the question. No, that's because that she was doing reason. her own shit on her own show, Vinny, and that's what I mean about this authoritarian butt nuggetness that you're sharing with us here. Well, it, you, it's an you don't run of, other people. If somebody types shit in the fucking RLM chat, I don't read it. They don't get mad at me for it because they know I'm not mad. It's an extension. Of the original question. And so you, well, back. you don't still. You're just trying. You're always throwing your weight around, trying to control it. Well, how ba- how am I controlling anybody? By, by adding to the original fucking words. text. That's how. Because it wasn't your words. It was somebody so else's. So you're in favor of censorship. Is I'm in favor of butting out of other people's radio Listen, Do you know that there... I <laughs> <laughs> you just said... I added to the original question. That's not... Yeah. Nobody owes you any... That's not you butting any. in. Yes, it listen, is butting in. Listen, wow. we got people talking right now in chat. <laughs> right now in chat. So? Uh, uh, it's making comments. And? Now, are we participating in there? Are we, if somebody... If somebody asked me a question. Yeah. Course, what a, like what about it? I believe, yeah, somebody yeah, asked yeah, me a question. Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. Say course. Can you say that? Yes. Ask me a question. Ask you a question. Ask me a question. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. Sure. Let me find something. I don't know. Who who do you want to talk to? Beetle, J. Dredd, Grimner, Vanna White? Anybody. Anybody. Not Vanna White. That's not a real person. Sock Puppet. Sock Puppet. I am Lone Frog. Pancakes. Froggy's listening. He's talking. Beetle. There's all. He will smack you with his flipper feet. Right in the mouth. Ooh, lots of threats on RLM today. Uh, hey, you're getting punished for your creativity today. I'm being punished for it. Okay. Yeah. I told you it would happen. Mm-hmm. Never fails. You know why? Why? Because all you normal people that live by rules and regulations and reality, I'm not one of you. <laughs> it's just the way it fucking is. See that? You guys are way different than me. The whole deal right there. You can't just make up a reality and say. Oh yes, you can. Sure, you can. I've done it. I live in a fucking 
fantasy life, man. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> and oh, and Woody uh, will probably know there's some big rock hound thing coming up in Tucson, I think in January. And the guy downtown, he's already planning to go. Oh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. cool. They have big yeah. ones out in Quartzsite, Arizona. Well, I just thought it was kind of odd over the years because I've talked to the guy at the store and I've known him. Tucson's pretty cool. It's dangerous. It's but dangerous. Woody lives out there and Woody's a rock hound. He's too. outside, yeah. Yeah, but he's, he's a, a rock hound. These guys all know the same shit, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah, shit. It's kind of strange, though. One's in Denmark and one's in Arizona. They have some out there. I uh, I gave it to my brother. I had some nice fossils and rocks and stuff from out there. Nice piece of petrified wood, cut and polished. I don't know how much stuff they allow them to bring back through customs, but I wouldn't. Have, cut, I, oh. I would assume it. It's not as as much as he would like. But I don't know if I, he's going out there to buy stuff or if he's just going out there to see the updates to the business because he's got I, the rock business. I sent a piece of a. Wait, so I'm going to say something. Circle. Uh, circle said something. No. About my question. My question. My question. Your question. No, Cirque's over on the you couch like crocheting. Your questions are your questions oh. to answer. Yes. She doesn't answer questions. I would make it no demand. Well, see, but I okay. Would to continue you, our discussion. And there you go. I would like to talk further about this. In, in but the, if it so doesn't go here, your way. Uh, see, that's what I mean. Oh, if it doesn't go your well, way, she, you're going to have a fit. She, now, now, Circle and Grams came out talking, and they, uh, she wanted consensus. I'm not asking for a consensus. All I'm asking for is a definition <laughs> of, the, of exactly what you're talking about. See, that way I'm not confused. I have to understand where you're coming from. Vincent, not a I'm, just, I'm just having fun with you. I don't, you know what? I don't, I don't really, outside of being married to her, I don't have a I race. I don't have a horse. Awesome. She is is a great use. Yeah, but I, I got a an op- I, I got an opportunity to get you on your authoritarian stand in front of everybody, and I still like to because you're. See, she's not. She's you're not stuck. made any demands of me. She's given given me encouragement, and <laughs> prodding and that. pushing along the way. You know, <laughs> that type of person social is, and I appreciate that about her. Yeah. Um, well, that's very true. Yeah. I mean, but sometimes, yeah, but sometimes when people are doing something they're not com- completely familiar and comfortable with, yeah, you're exactly pushing, what I would say. You're yeah. pushing they, her while she's alive her... on the radio was not a good move to make. She's not, she's not used to doing radio, and that wasn't fair. Well, I apologize. That was her second fair. attempt, and you're up there every she's freaking doing time. Great. Yeah, Fantastic Yeah, but instead job. of she's being natural. But instead you know, of being helpful, you're in there causing freaking friction. I'm not dickhead. one to. I'm trying to be helpful. I'll go back to that. <laughs> I'm trying to help. It's opinions, listen, man. Listen, uh, calm down. If, oh. I, if I didn't care about you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to help hmm. you. <laughs> if I needed some help, I wouldn't ask you for it. Sometimes you need help and you don't know it. That's, where that's the being and the called an idiot. See, no, fuck you, no. man. Don't call me Circle an idiot does that on for the me. radio. Did I did I call you an idiot? Yeah, in in my in my estimation of that kind of you're shit, ma- you're making up words in. Oh, uh, that's because I can feel comfortable. I can right? count then, the time. Tell me on one hand. I just want to know right now when somebody's talked to me like you just did, and it's you. Nobody else approaches me like that. No, it's too much, man. We, Slow we're, down. We're we have a controversy here. We're no. contrasting the occupation. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes spit and slobber go fly. <laughs> I know, I but it makes me laugh. That's the price you pay. I'm not paying any price. What are you? You are crazy. How Wipe so? your chin. Wipe <laughs> your chin. <sir>. Ain't <laughs> you funny? <laughs> Listen, I'm really not being mean. I'm just playing with you. Well, first off, Wipe it's, it's Wipe supposed to be radio. <laughs> Crying out loud. We have no, to get not. along and see eye to eye no, every goddamn issue in life. To get no, along with don't. people, then you're going to be no, alone. We don't. Yeah, well, so I mean, you're going to be yeah, alone. Because you're right. Because yeah. me and Mary don't get along on uh, lots of things that we see differently. But we just, ah, it's just life. It doesn't have anything to do with the physical reality. It's just an opinion about some third-party fucking thing. Woo, big deal. 
if that's you know if that's all you got in life, then oops, you got gobbled up by the state. It happens, it really does. But it's true. I and mean, if you live in that I've, back that fictional fucking reality of global everything, <coughs> climate change, and Watergate, and fu- you know, futures and soybeans. It's reality. It's, it is a reality. Are, do you play in that? But what do you it's play? What is upon you is what's against you. Do and you to personally claim play some in that? Some other realm of no. reality yeah. does not change the actuality of what it is that you have physical. Uh, contact with the, the reality what you can observe just because you have the right to free speech doesn't mean if you say something about putting a bullet in somebody's head that they will not come and put you in lock you up for it well you understand? No, for one it's an ignorant fucking thing this a terrible fucking example i wouldn't fucking say something that stupid right Vinny. i just talked to why somebody don't you try some well work. that's that's wonderful but try a fucking comment that people would make not, I'll kill you. That's that's a comment. Oh come on, Vinny. Are You've you? never said that in your life when you was mad at. It. So I'll kill you. No, I don't think that so. used to be something people would say when they were mad, and not actually. No, kill no, someone. no, no. I yes. No, because if I told you, I would. I'd probably do it. I didn't mean you specifically. Well, I am me specifically. Who else are you talking to here? There. In generality, I wasn't I saying. Speak in generality. That guy with that. Said he's gonna put a bullet. In I speak. Really mean in it. I speak in experience. Right. I either did or thought something, or I didn't. And he if I thought something like guard, that, I'd probably do it. He told one of his well, prison guards, uh, if I was prison not in these guard. handcuffs, you would respect me." They charged yeah. him for. Said the guy, the prison guard, was in fear of his life. They oh the no! For that. Bunch of yeah. Pussies. He's enforcement pussy. He's he's handcuffed and shackled, and he's mm. in fear of his life because he said, yeah. you would respect me if I weren't in these handcuffs. Of course. And what does that mean? I'm going to kill well, you, I'm going to kick your ass, or or uh, if I were shackled up here, like if presumed guilty, would I be, uh, you know, being disrespected right. by you and right now? How, you yelling up in my ear? How, how, how are you detecting? How, how, words how, are important. How positive are you that those words were ever spoken? How do you know it's not just a bullshit story? Well, I know. Where Charlie is your? Knows. I proof. know what he's telling me. I've known him for years and years. Okay, I, and I right. told him mm. I'll never forget. Mm. Right? He's a person. Mm. He's one of the. As you go through life and you, you meet so this people, is from somebody you across. know, Vinny. This is yeah, third somebody party. I know. Okay, different. Yeah, that's different. And you know, I've gone about the world here, I'm mostly in right about here, flying over a piece of Canada one time, uh, excursions into frontier of Mexico, but beyond that here in, in the Americas, met a lot of people, and some people will stay, you'll never forget, they have a special spot, right? <laughs> Forever, yeah, reside in your mind, in your heart, hmm. some are good and some are bad, uh, Charlie, uh, I always like to try, he's, he's, uh, he's a big nutter of a nutter, and, and then can you imagine what he turned into when they put him on psychotropic drugs for them years in prison? They punished him out. for using his yeah. imagination. That's exactly right. Mm-hmm. They put him on them drugs like, uh, yeah. I don't know, he was telling me the names of a couple, I don't even know, but Ther- Thorzee was the one that uh, I-, I would know, but they've got all these other things now. Just imagine. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't have to imagine. We see the results of what psychotropic drugs do to people. Look at all the mass shooters. They're always, uh, you'll find a commonality. They're on psychotropic drugs almost every time. Hmm. Wouldn't you say? See, wouldn't I say? I don't know. They don't do that where I live. I have no <coughs> clue. All I know is that I see a bunch of links, and half of the time what they're seeing is uh, a government op. They're doing a, like a, a drill is what they're doing. Yeah. And then they report it to the people as a reality and claim dead bodies and all kinds of bunch of shit, as far as I'm concerned. So whether people are getting shot or not gets buried beneath the dishonesty of the press. So I don't know. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. And I'm so far the fuck away from the guys that mm, I don't have a dog in the race outside of family and they chose to stay there. 
That's their they choice. could kick you out of there. They, they could even call you home from America and demand Denmark to give you back. Yeah, but for what reason? For words. Oh, okay. Sure. If you say so, Vinny. If you say the wrong words, I could. I bet you. I, well, you why would I like, want to follow through on something as ignorant as that, Vincent? Exactly. What kind why of stupid would conversation why would, is that? I'm making a point out of this. What? This is what I told Charlie. Hmm. Words. You know, I'm talking about these people that are in prison. Like, oh, for, yeah. Well, set, it goes for to words. Situational. For, for words. Yeah, it goes back to situational. Todd remember, Engel for uh, words. Uh, 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 wait. Remember when things are situational where you live? They're not so broad and varied here. They're very, they're simple. Not so. So, I mean, they still exist. You can go outside of a bounds right there and you'd be gone, buddy. Yeah, what they what would, does it mean, be gone? What do you mean? Yeah, they'll take and do away with you, lock you up or kill you. You don't think it'll happen Who? there just like it will. They, the ambiguous they, sir. Uh, I, I don't sit, well, I don't live like that. That's your trip. That's what I mean is that reality is for people that play in that game and I don't. I got a whole different life other than that shit. You avoid you you avoid that uh, path of destruction. You stay out of that way right there. It's because but I know say, what it is. I'm not let's stupid. Let's say, okay, let's say America right. one day is finally uh, outed as the empire builder that it is. And people say, no, no, no. And there's like uh, whatever division in part of Europe says, okay, we're against America now. And then. Like the and then you would be suspicious. Like, I mean, look at the situation, how things happen like that. Let's say in Iran, you know, that's a good place to be in prison for, for spying, especially if you're a spy. Oh, wow. you know, Persia was a great yeah. empire for, uh, you know. Yeah, America. I'm a long way from Persia. Right. I'm just giving examples. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying things can happen. Things can change and they can change quickly. Yeah. As bad as people perceive America to be, it's still... Mm. Uh, a relative place of freedom that you have to guard yourself against infringement against you, right? From your government. You have government. to do it carefully. From, and you, from your and own especially people. Especially if you're American, an expatriate, uh, you definitely got to guard yourself extra. You, let, let's say if uh, I say you, and it's not you, it's mm. just whoever. So yeah. Right? And they're yeah. in Iran, and they're talking bad about uh, um, the president, whatever his name is, is Mr. Nine Fingers used to be. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever now. his name is, the guy that's in head of Iran right now. What's his name? The Mussolini. Ayatollah. Yeah, Ayatollah Mussolini. I don't know a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. You can live over and talk smack about the Ayatollah uh, Mussolini, and and expect to not you know have uh, things fall down upon your head or your head fall off, chopped off, right? I I'm don't just saying, know. There's different <laughs> degrees. What kind of, what of idiot does do that? Say. Okay, but what kind of idiot does that where they fucking live in the first place? Only a moron. So well, what are you talking more about? Off, they're more off than off. Yeah, but you went right to the Middle East, right to Iran, where you don't live, and you took something that's kind of obvious because religion utters are usually pretty fucking violent. The histories that we all read, you know, sure, it's believable, but I've never lived there. And even if you did, you wouldn't be one of them. So I think you're missing really. I the think point you're missing is you. You've There's ne- okay. Degrees of separation. Right? You're looking at it from your side of the fucking country that to a country you've never uh-uh. set foot in. How many oh, no, times have, have you to. been to Iran? I well, I've been there many times in uh, books. No, 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 no. How many fucking hold times on, have you flown to Iran and landed and mixed I've, with the people? I have traveled the world, sir. When did you go to Iran? All through the oh, internet. So, uh, I mean, in knowing people that are from there through life, Not in the, the, on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is. There's an experience. Ah, that you, uh, it is a travel. Nothing like yeah, setting I've traveled foot. the world. Ah. Talk about Not, talking about nonsense. If you if you physically, you say do it, that I would have to actually physically be there to have a. An understanding and an idea of what uh, what goes on in their place, in yeah. Iran. As far as no, yeah, any no, place, no. yeah. Why not? No, I was in nineteen. What, oh, cried out! Something. Now you're I some kind of psychic. Acid, oh, okay, yeah. acid. psychic. Wait, you're like, telling me that you don't have to physically go anywhere to understand what the place is like 
That's insane, Vinny. That's nonsense, and you should know better than that. Listen, have you, you ever been to... Listen, hold on, hold on. Have you ever been to a sewage treatment plant? No. What for? Why the you, fuck yeah. would I want to go to, what, some kind of weird redneck <laughs> entertainment? Hey, Betty, want to go down to the treatment center and get Becky? Cough, 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 cough. No, that's a non-answer. What, okay. What what? I understand. Yeah. yeah. So, but, okay. <laughs> Think about a sewage treatment plant. What? What do you think happens at a sewage treatment plant? Oh, I don't think ever about none of that. Well, Why think about I... it now. No, I don't want to. You can't make me. You're a bully, but you're not going to bully I, me into that. I, you lost again. <laughs> Would you like an, uh, an alternative? Oh. No. <laughs> How about a, a no. station? <laughs> Pass. I'm scared, Simpson. <laughs> you're scaring me. <laughs> I need oh. to like this thing again. Yeah, I'm telling you. Me too. I messed up another ball. Hey. Hey, hey. Big old dummy, dumb head. Let's see. Right. Listen, now. Uh, you're, really, you're really doing me a big favor because you're actually accentuating what? the obvious. I have no idea. I'm just getting getting stoned and having fun with you on the radio. You want to take it all serious. That's on you. <laughs> it's just fucking around. I'm the, not me. Hey, Frogger, he's poking you with it. Frogger, oh, I dude, see that. But good. did did you did you lick their dick? I remember when Richard Nixon ran. Yeah, McGovern couldn't lick his dick. There you go. Yeah, I think he ran. Didn't he run in '68? <laughs> was that the first time? Or yeah, '68 was, was the first. Yeah, yeah, first, yeah, yeah. He replaced right. Johnson. Seventy. Yeah, '72 was his second term. Yeah. And then Johnson, not long after that, he was into the Watergate. But Johnson was so bad that he couldn't even get a second term. <laughs> so his own party didn't want him in. Or they never had the plan for him to be the president. Because you can't switch dicks in the middle of a string. Well, no. He was just in there to get rid of First Kennedy. Group. Kennedy was never supposed to hold that seat. That was a fluke. Yeah. yeah. They even accused his father of buying the election because he was Catholic. They weren't ever going to yeah, have a Catholic in that. White Joe, House. Joe Kennedy, he was a powerful mobster. I mean, they made a lot of money back in the day, dude. Right. And the story about the boys is that they wanted to <laughs> clean up that side of the of the uh, family name and be remembered for the better stuff. But they were still some pretty nasty people. I mean, people usually are. Well, like somebody like me, right? I, I'm a real simple guy. I look kind of different and all that. But I take You're my, different. I take my, I take my marriage seriously. And these people in politics, business, they don't. They do it for uh, political reasons and business reasons. It's, it's way. It's oh boy. It's in like some form of a business, so you can keep businesses in certain families. So you have these kids marry each other, and then they have their things on the side that they really want. <laughs> and that's how people <laughs> they really live. And if you try to explain that to the you know simple guy, he doesn't get it usually. But then again, that's my perspective on the way this shit works. Not yours, sir. Head rush. Uh, you coming back to Earth now? Whoa, cop. <laughs> you, big, you big dummy dumb head. Cop, 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 cop. cop. I know. I got cop. Man. I know. Wow, wow. Well, at least you're getting good you're getting good smoke, right? You're not you're not being punished for using your imagination. You're being punished for using your common sense. The difference. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, see, because Frog's, Frog's putting up all that, not taking any responsibility for shit. Well, I don't do anything to be responsible for. Well, my, I'll tell my you life what he's is talking so about. boring and simple. There's no interaction. Yeah. He's talking about your. Not uh, fully responding to 
the actual issue here with the question and that you die, uh, that flex and defer. So off the, who cares? You know, that's and that's what about it? That's manner of dealing with it. Who that. cares? That there so you go. If you make it is, real, yeah, it's real. It's we not can't real. from there. We can't yeah. go into the fullness of the entirety, which is it's just my uh, opinion. The trivium. Yeah. yeah, but opinions mean shit. Really? Well, right. sure, they mean something to the person holding it, not and everybody that, else. And that this is, is my opinion. It doesn't the most yeah. dangerous superstition is this uh, no. idea of self knowing that uh, mm. what you know is the absolute. <laughs> I don't now, know. See, yeah, I don't know. Right? If you're not willing. <laughs> well, what, what is that? What is the second commandment? Is to uh, uh, do unto others to mm. you know the that you would have done to you, to you yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. In, in that, it, let's take it to the religious side. Yeah. And I'm going to pull this out paraphrasingly from uh, Moby Dick. Mm. And this is, uh, what was his name? Quique and Ishmael. And they end up, uh, you know, becoming bosom buddies and friends. And uh, Quique was, uh, he was, uh, I think, from uh, like Maori. In like New Zealand, they, he was uh, at least South Pacific somewhere, and a, and a cannibal, I suppose, and an idolater. And he had his uh, thing that he'd hold in his head with a little carved black figurine of his god. And, um, anyway, so wow. Ishmael, he's like, you know, should I not partake? You know, particularly take up this guy's idea of who God is. Look at it from his point of view, hmm. right? Because I would have him to do the same for me. So he's like, yeah, you know, that's that would be part of it. Have, so the religiosity of that right there is these beliefs, right? So, <laughs> well, let me see what this guy believes, right? Well, do I find warrant? Well, who was being judged in the end? I think you see that uh, quite, quite. I'm not saying it's Quique. I'll have to go look to remember how to say his name right. Uh, anyways, from Moby Dick. Uh, but he determined that, you know, he wanted to go aboard with the uh with the uh the whites and learn about their ways he figured you know uh, as natives did these are great almost godly type people and so we want to find out he was uh the son of a king uh this character here in moby dick and he he went to find out that these people were probably less godly than the, the pagan uh beliefs of his his own ideology but anyways that that's what you get when you go about uh, true examination. I like to say we're we're judging God, but when you don't go and extract all that and apply it and put it in a in an order where it can come about making sense. I mean, I didn't I didn't make the uh, trivium. This is something that's been around for a real long time, and for the mind to uh, actuate and understand what is is, it helps if you're able to do it in this process, right? That way, there's not like running off down these uh, trails and turning circles, you know, and, and you're chasing the same question. Or I'm trying to put it in words that uh, you want to hear it in, then it gets lost, right? So look at information and then lay it back out. Be a judge of it. Witness it and advocate what is right. So things make sense. I mean... Uh, sometimes you can get stuck spinning around what sounds like a great idea. And then you go to what? Kill your darlings. Is it so great and mighty and dear to your heart? Yeah, I just as a belief because it's a feel-good thing. Um, you know, kill your darlings in writing or in art, as uh, Circle was talking about. Kill your darlings, that little thing you think you have just so right and perfect right there. Okay. That's it. You got awful quiet. Oh, uh, I was reading. Who's, uh, is it? What's he talking about here? Is Hansel in here? Where it happened to him? He's not listening? <laughs> I thought sure Hansel would be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Did any of that make any sense, or was it? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one that oh, said okay. it. 
So you've got this, well, I you've, you've got this does, idea, I mean, Vince. You've got this idea that uh, I have to understand you, and we, I, we I, should, I don't live like that. We should have a responsibility to ourselves to try to understand if we're going to communicate, right? Why? That's, why not? That's why the way you, you want to. Why would you want to make words if you're not actually trying to have have actual meaning and and be able to translate well, them one to another? Why do you put a problem where one problem doesn't exist? I didn't put a problem. Then why are you asking me like that? Well, I'm not asking you like that. Then what are you what doing? What is it like that? What is that that you're talking about? In a like negative, that? shitty light, like a. Where did I do that? I've even, I've even, <coughs> wait. <coughs> See, there's no voice to touch me. See, I really don't I think mean, any of this shit matters, and you are the opposition and seem to think all of it matters, and I don't see how. It doesn't. What matters to you, it matters to you, not to anybody else. That's my side of this. My concerns are not any concern of yours. I'll tell you that right now. But we may agree on this, that, or the other. But just because you tell me how I need to do this and how I need <clears throat> to do that, what you're not telling me is yeah, how did how back. can I finish? What you're mm -hmm. not telling me is how mm -hmm. did I survive the 60 years without your help? To get where I got to, you know, see, it's it's very controlling. You think I'm trying to help? Yeah, I think it's very controlling and assuming of a lot of people the way they talk to each other. <clears throat> they assume a lot of shit because all you got to do is doubt the doubt the natural order in some way that dings the listener that hits their state bone. No, I was taught it's like this. You're wrong. One of those things. And yeah. it pisses people off. There you go. <clears throat> now, me and you. Well, we, we've all been taught wrong. We? I agree. Oh, that's what we agree well, that. what have we, me and you been doing? We've been trying to uh, un greedy, greedy, demonstrate greedy. that un uh, untaughtness, right? The untaughtness. It's, it's, it's pretty hard. It's a hard road to walk down. Yeah. yeah. To uh, get, grow beyond the greed and the, the, the selfishness that we were you know, instilled with to compete against each other the way we did when we were kids, to grow up, to get work, and, you know, survive mm -hmm. the world and all that horseshit. It was presented to me in, in terms of a struggle and a fight. And I went, ah, fuck you. I don't want to do that. So I did this instead. That's and a, because that's I, okay, works. but because I lived a different kind of life completely, than most anybody that you'll ever know, my words are going to sound really fucking weird to people. But the truth of it is, if I can't see it at the moment, it's not there. I don't care. There you go. Out of sight, out, out of, of mind. Song? No, I, I think, I think Frank Sinatra did it. <laughs> he did? I don't know. Really. Do it, you too. But I'm just What's saying, it, it's got to sound... Um, Strange to somebody that grew up in the grip of the authority, you know, because I was a victim of the authority because I was always conflicting with their rules. So they'd punish me when they could catch me. So I know oh, you're I, a yeah. victim. Now, how does yeah. that make you identify today? I said when they caught me breaking their rules, they punished me. How the fuck do you come up with victim? Where is you victim? Said Vic. You said uh, you was a victim. Well, OK, I what I mean is. Because the word is fucked up. Um, I did. I got caught doing. See, it's all a matter of breaking these freaking imaginary it's these rules. Damn words! I'm telling you, it's these damn words. Yeah, but problem. it's these rules that these fucking grown-ups made when I was a kid. What are rules? Words? Enough for a cop to arrest you. That's what they. Those, are. Yeah, those are like the made-up rules to franchise. Stuff. Yeah, somebody but, get that pig. Get him, Grimner got him. There was a time in, in my life where the police didn't just um, take phone calls and jump all over that information without any proof. But in the 70s, a lot of that changed. So it gave them more, uh, a more open doorway to, to bother you, check you out and see where you're going and what you're doing, especially teenagers. They loved to control us when we were teenagers. So, did you ever find a cause for this rebelhood of yours? Would you have words to describe it? What do you mean? 
I mean, you're a rebel, right, from a young age. I don't you know about rebel. The I, rules I, of oppression were upon you. No, not not in those kind of you words. You learned you learn to move out of that uh, that reach of it, right? See, not <clears throat> in, it's not quite that. That's not the way to describe it. It's more like I thought grown-ups were horrible and that we deserved to have a weapon to protect ourselves against them when I was growing up because most of them were mean. Mean and vindictive. Teachers, shit like that. They just had... Uh, they would seem to bring their shit, their problems to work with them or something. <laughs> Take it out on the kids. Yeah, there's this one teacher. She drank, kept a bottle in her. Yeah, there's more than one. Second grade teacher, she was a mean old witch. <laughs> Mrs. Hodges. Herbert Clark. Hey. But... You know, to think just because the times have changed, that the personality of a teacher has changed is not. That's They're still getting the same. Teachers are people that can be manipulated and controlled so that they can teach others. You know, they manipulate and control. It's Well, there's pretty not, much a monopoly on textbooks these days and what goes with the Textbooks, see, goes, there, yeah, yeah, textbooks. Ah, there you go. And that's what I'm against right there. Because most of the uh, most important things that I learned as a child, by the time I was a teenager, I found out that they were all bullshit. Everything? So, pretty much, yeah. yeah. About by you, four, you don't feel that you took any type of information out of the public education that might carry over with you? No, life? nothing. Uh -uh. Math or reading? Nothing. I learned how to do that before I went to school. Yeah, I did too. Well, my, my father, when I was four, he had a made a multiplication table and had me memorize it. One, you know, one to twelve. So I, I could handle one to twelve for, and that's as far as they usually go. But give me a piece of paper and a pencil, and I could figure out, the, you know, whatever else was after it. So school, now nah, school didn't help me at all. Well, I think you probably learned a little bit along the way. Well, see, that's what you think, and I Did live you my life. I mean, and I let don't me ask think you, so. you why you was in first and second and third grade, mm -hmm. fourth, on into fifth. Learned a little bit more. I mean, you didn't go in there knowing algebra. Did you learn? No, I never. Home, that was no, 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 no. I didn't learn algebra. I never took oh, algebra. Oh, you didn't learn it. I don't want you to. Didn't learn? No reason to. Geometry? No. Uh -uh. Played pool. Oh. Geometry. That was close enough. You don't well. Can't you know, play pool without some. Yeah. I worked as a pipe fitter, so I used you know a lot of math there. I you never know, was a pipe fitter. Know, yeah, uh, carpenters they need those type of skills. Geometry, you know the uh, uh, story, uh, Pythagorean. No, theory. I'm not a carpenter three, either. Three, four, and five. Well, I mean, this is information you can that is you know readily uh, needed in everyday skills. If you want to bear, build a uh, a square square box and then round it off well okay but my favorite skill is that i can look at a cartoon and i can draw it bigger or smaller on to the size of the picture on the wall line for line and get the well, same see, yeah, get that's, the same that's picture. a pretty good ability of the mind eh? yeah well, no, sir, you, okay you're you're created creativity is being yeah. funny. but cirque is a uh, no, nope silence for 0. 0.20 seconds go all right she all right, is up. an artist out of the penalty box and Ooh, we oh yeah. circle yeah and we tried yeah, to work she's an amazing artist I'm telling you the end of this and we tried to work together on the same drawing and it was impossible i'm i'm not capable of interacting with other people on my artwork very selfish it's like uh being some kind of freaking monster almost you don't want nobody nobody even your wife no stay off my drawing that's weird <laughs> to me, but that's the way when I look back at it. I think it was that personal of a thing, my how, ability to draw. And how does that make you feel? Selfish. Really? Oh, yeah, because, man, I don't want to share my, my most unique talent with anybody else. I want to do it by myself still to this day. Is this uh, the reason you – would you say that you hate your mother? <laughs> I don't hate my mother, you dumbass. <laughs> hate my mom. I miss my mom sometimes, though. 
You know, we uh, I got I, along pretty good with it. Yeah, she, we we got along really well the last I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years. The first twenty and twenty five, thirty weren't. Yeah, I was kind of rude. I didn't think the way I think now. So, yeah. but things change. And if you, you know what I did learn from my folks is that. No matter how fucking stupid that you think you are about something you did, that's um, that's for you. It's not for everybody else. And, you know, it's a personal thing. And either you fix stuff or you don't. And I think I figured out ways to fix things that I had broken as a kid. You know, with all my shenanigans running away from home and making them worry about me for you know periods of time. Where was I? I got whacked by some serial killer because <laughs> they had all that shit going on in the papers when I was doing it. I five <laughs> they had Kenny Kenny Bianchi and his cousin were supposed to be the Hillside Stranglers, and I'm out there hitchhiking all over the freaking Interstate five. Luckily, so. there's a lot of other people. Oh. Okay. Luckily, there's a lot of other people uh, hitchhiking. And you didn't get picked up, knocked off, man. Well, no, no. It was a matter of. You just got to know. Odds. This is where math comes in. See, this is why poker I, is not a, jank, a game of chance. It's a game of skill. Fear, scary, freaky people that would murder you will make you feel uncomfortable. You know, that's me. Not you. Me. Make me feel. Man, there's people I've just, I encounter to this day. You know, something about them just rubs me raw. I don't want to be around that person, whoever they are. And I go with and it. How, well, how do you feel about clowns? I don't. Are you a clown? Well, I clown around. Minnie the clown. Do, do you juggle? Yeah. I, well, yeah. I can you scratch your nuts and juggle at the same time, though? I, I kicked my buddy in one of his dad's <laughs> little wallets. <laughs> Rick. He was sitting on the chair. And just, <laughs> well, he, he says, one well, up on up on the seat and his wood oh, no. the other one's kind of dangling down so wow like three inches in the air you snooze you lose <laughs> he, he just kind of doubles over like for a couple uh, minutes you're a bully though see what i mean you're a bully you're a big old bully it's, hey it's, it's rough out well here. you could take it back though because yeah you've had your bell rung a time or two man i think there's things that's not loose in my brain but you know what i think I think that this is all a big freaking illusion. We're a bunch of electronic You're an energy banner. Sick man. Yeah. You're an illusion. Okay. We're battering Sick off man. each other at this electronic level of reality. And you play in it however you want to. Me and you have the luxury of doing this on the radio and having all kinds of fun. Arguing about shit that doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it's great. You know, they go, how do you stay friends? Well, because none of the stuff is real. It's all, only life is real, and to me, is the life I see. Everything else, that's you. I don't see you what know, you see. I would like to know, and it, it could probably be uh, tracked down, but I often suspect that the uh, that, that slogan of Lavoie Finnicum, it matters how you stand, comes from me. Uh-huh. When I met Lum Boy and he'd come up and ask me who I was, and I told him, what matters worldwide? I said, I guess let me ask you that question, what matters to you? <laughs> and he said, it matters how you stand. Uh, <laughs> Rock's having fun with me on the RLM. I've just played around with me. Good God. You know, uh, Frog. I, I oh. am Lum Frog. Oh, I was I was off back there in Cause I was reading at the chat and getting all cut up and Seeing what people were thinking about, what me and you were chatting about, but uh, I I was reflecting. You said that things that don't matter, but and I was I'm trying that to prove that I my broadcasting career as it was what matters. And I'm trying to prove that's that that's what a, I set out that things do matter. Opposing and verbal opinions really matter that uh, that gonna hurt you if you do ah, things wrong in this world. Big baby. that's why I talk about these words. Big baby and to guard your words wee, in the wee, first wee, wee, minute. Wee. That that is free enough to get you locked up and killed. Ooh. It's used against these rules. Ain't that sad that you once yeah, it had happened. Yeah, but see, you once you never had a, really once had them. Yeah, you can say words yeah. and get slapped in the mouth. Now yeah. those are protected. 
yeah. you can't say silly faggot or something like that without expecting perhaps a lawsuit or they might even arrest you or put you in jail nah. you know, for hate speech. You're yeah. overdoing it. You don't sound like you. England. Nah, come on. I mean, don't think he won't. Well, I don't live there, so I don't really give a shit if you want to know the truth. Black guy. They Listen, start I've doing already that demonstrated. Here. I've already demonstrated how that could matter. Where you're living now as an expatriate, it could come and actually be detrimental. Ah, you, you sound like hands with all your government crap. I'm Listen, not, I'm what not if, important to anybody if, like that. What if his what if his home country took over and he has actual power within his influence? Whose home country? Capture what? him and punish him. What if? Yeah, because you're talking bad against Hans. What if he had some type of influence and he could just like say, yeah, punish him. Oh, crazy. yeah, it would have happened years ago. Are you crazy? Come on, you're talking about somebody that fights in Starbucks, but never quite gets on YouTube fighting in Starbucks. It's a, it's a mystery. So, nah, come on, it's the internet. You make too much of it. But that's my opinion. This is all an illusion, Vincent. Reality is what you're willing to live with. It's funny you say but and opinion together. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sit on my opinion, pal. I ain't insane. You said I know, but. I know but what it is. in my opinion, you said. No, I'm just pointing well, out the, yeah. how those, those words can be. I have defined what I know to be the definition of opinion, and it doesn't mean anything. It's just the way you feel about something. And everybody has that right to feel however the fuck they want to about any damn thing they feel like. And I think that you, Mr. Wordy, push the thing around a lot to get your way. Because you're not as willing to give the other guy the freedom that he wants. You want to control uh, it no, with no, not logic to, and help. If you and want better to engage questions. in that idea, you, you're going to have to expect it especially when you insert me into it, you're going to have to expect that I'm going to demand a fair hearing. Yeah, what did, you I, no, what did I accuse you of? Are you, did you hear me? I'm talking about you or anybody else. Did they, did in all the stands yeah. that I've taken here. Huh. Whether yeah, it be why? In the, in the chat room over here, it matters to the network, yeah. or whether it be with people yeah. throughout the country or you know, been taken into custody yeah. uh, because of words. It's so a sad thing, isn't it? Mess yeah. So listen, I'm here yeah. to help, right? Mm -hmm. Would I not want to show and demonstrate that which I've learned? I have no idea. How these things. And then, then I would say, in all the fairness, right, fairness. how do we expect to get along here? Whether it be yeah. allow somebody to say bad words about you or, or where, to, to where, present where does, questions and then say, listen, I can only ask it in so many ways. Where does fairness come into any of this? You're are talking not, about words. Are, are we Fair? not here to, to, to demonstrate this idea? What, this, what? this better hmm. way that, that uh, the world should go about? Because we, hmm. what, we can talk better about way. all the ills and wrongs. We can say all this about what we're against, but what are we for? Are we for right? There's an obvious right and there's an obvious wrong. You might have some discussion... Uh, as you're progressing in the direction, whether you're going forward or against it. And right? I think it's different for each of us. Then you know, There's not like this one size fits all. There's layers. You know, like in Shrek, you know, onions have layers, cakes have layers, yeah. onions have layers. Well, these ideas that you have, Mr. Authoritarian, to me, seem to have layers where... It depends on the person looking on it, how they're going to decide for themselves, how they see whatever they're looking at. And I'm not convinced that we're all looking at the exact same thing at the exact same time, but we're being told we are. But if each person is interpreting something at their own, their own say, speed or level <clears throat> or a measure of understanding, whatever have you, right? It's like if you were going to start talking about chopping down trees with your saw, right? Okay. Well, you would chop down trees with Wait, 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 wait. Clear. Okay. Well, whatever you chop down trees with in this world now, I have no – that's not where I come from. So that's not my thing. But you're going to get people that know what you're talking about. See, that's what we really do behind all the arguing 
we find people that know what we're talking about and what we're doing. Well, in, in that yeah. example right there, see, yeah. when you say chop a tree down, you've yeah. got to know that that's a, an axe does that. If you cut a tree down, that's done with a saw. And now, certain, you can use the two together, and in the old days, they would cut a, their falling notch uh, with the axe and then use a cross cut. To, but see, certain fell, people fell are, tree. are familiar with that kind of idea in the first place. Right. That's, that's your level. words matter, right? Would because you your exp well, it comes with experience. It, yeah. In, in this context, yeah. Because you're describing an experience that you've done to somebody else. So being honest is really important when you're passing on information that can get somebody hurt if they do it wrong. Well, I don't feel like I've got any crazy rules and regulations that I'm demanding people uh, uh, apply to. No, I'm just but saying I you say, can give bad I advice. Say I demonstrate when. When somebody is presenting yeah. certain idea, facts, or, or confrontation, yeah. then I'm going to say, look, uh, I'm going to ask a question. Or, uh, is this uh, proper procedure? And I'm using the chopping a tree down as a make a point. Because mm -hmm. if the person listening doesn't completely listen to the advice that they were given and they just hear some of it, and they just go out there and start chopping away, and the tree falls on their house because they didn't listen to the entire thing to learn where to start cutting that to make it go where you want it to go. And I think that that's the modern day way that we do things today. We just go right to the answer from the question without really knowing what's in the middle. Yeah, that's uh, sometimes you even skip the beginning. And that's what I've been talking about there. That's you're talking the trivia. I, mean, I it's well yeah. you have, yes, you've revealed it. Your oh. mind has spoken trivial. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's that's what authoritarian is, Frog, is judging other people's shit that you know, they've got a right to think whatever crazy nonsense they want to. Uh that's not anything to be judged. Words are words. They're just words. We're no, not. they're not. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. In my reality. See, there we go. Your you, reality. You live somewhere See, else. I don't. Realities. Yeah, they're. Just, <sighs> fuck, uh, Vinny. I don't behave like some kind of, you know, jerk off out in the fucking world, you know, screaming at people. So, no. It, fighting with you on the radio fight. about. Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't look appealing. <laughs> Have you seen people do it? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's, sometimes it's yeah. fun at, at a distance. Uh, no, no. I'll t I'll tell you a quick story. Okay, a friend of mine when I was young, younger, he was cheating on his wife, and his wife was a friend of mine, and I was you know a friend of his, hers. Everybody knew everybody, and when she discovered his little bullshit story, she was mad at me because why did you well. Why am I going to get in the middle of it, your marriage problems? No, 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 no. I stayed out of all that. Anyway, so she decided that she was going to tell me her displeasure in the street at 6.30 in the morning when I'd come to meet my partner to go to work. <laughs> so I got this crazy woman screaming at me in the street. Anyway, so I finally get away from her and go home. And the next morning I get a call from her. She's calm and she's relaxed, but she's crying. She said somebody had run over her cat by the curb where she lives, and she doesn't have anybody to help her with it. So she calls me <laughs> to come pick up her dead cat and you know, dispose. But the day before, I was the villain. So words, I, I think it, demand, it depends on... Who's involved in, in what's going on when the words are said? You know? Because some people overreact to things and uh, make it worse and worse and worse. And some people, like when she was yelling at me in the street, all the neighbors did was just ignore her because she was yelling at me in the street at 6.30 in the morning. So instead of taking a, a big deal out of it, they let it go. So it didn't ever go anywhere. But that's where I'm from. See, my reality, my experience tells me that people are reasonable if you deal with them in small numbers. <laughs>
Stay away from the big groups, man. They'll gobble you up and spit you out. What do you think of that, Mr. Vincenzo? I have a very important announcement Uh-oh. coming up. 420 is coming up. Oh, that was a yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. You know it. You know it. And you know where it is about to be 420 now, sir. Right where you're sitting. And here, down where I'm under. at. <laughs> down under. <laughs> down under. <laughs> ah, there Miss B. It is me. official. Uh, ding, 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 hey, ding, ding, ding. I don't know if Miss B still pays attention to the dark table or not, but hey, Miss B. She doesn't, Miss B. She doesn't check in with the RLM. So. Well, people get, you know, reclusive, I would say. And when they want to socialize, they show up. I got a backup here. I lost the but location here. I've got a long memory for some people, and Miss B's on the list. It's like pancakes. Yeah, well, pancakes reminds me of uh, B and yeah, other folk. Because we come from another sat over yonder to get where we are Stick now. Thing that, oh, bliss? No, mm. the sticks, right? I'm sorry, I backed up. I was truncated. I don't know yeah. what you're asking me. Uh, who sang that? The Grand Illusion. I don't know. Mike wants to know who sang that. He said, Bless Eric Nicole. Clapton. I thought it was, uh, who did I just say? Uh, Grant Sticks. Well, I know there's a clap. Right? Yeah, okay. I don't know Grant about that. Illusion. Ouch. Ouch. Help me. We're Let's being do a Grand Illusion. Y- YT. Well, do a go ahead and do that. I'll pass. I'm not sure. How do I spell Lou? Uh, How do I spell me? Lou Illusion? Uh, illusion. I L L U. Yeah. Can you spell it? I'm typing any it without any what? Ours. Like that. Sticks. I was right. Oh, I have no idea. That wouldn't be my area of expertise, my friend. Oh, there's. It's not L O U S. I illusion. Ill Lou. You're sick, man. Sick, I tell you. You're right. Mentally disturbed. That's what they tell you. Sure, you know why? Is that a song? Because, well, because I refuse to uh, accept everything people tell me as true. I want proof, and they won't give me any so fuck them. I don't care. There you go. But your Sounds stories violent. are good, and your movies are entertaining. You know, but as far as proof to anything, that nah. Probably need a microscope. And what else would you need? A microscope and a telescope. And, and even then, what are you going to fucking see that's going to convince you personally that anything's different than you already think right now? So, I just think uh, that... I, hey, take in, I take in all the information I can get. And, and usually, right. I'm out looking for information that, that is not uh, confirmational to the bias that I already hold. I like to, I like to try to disprove Things. Like Especially what? My, I like to kill my darlings. That's something that I've done all my life. Try to kill my darlings. Oh my darlings. Oh my darlings. Hey, you got you got your harmonica? Yeah. Can you sing that? No. Play me a song. No, you did fine, Vincent. You you have a guitar? No, I, mean, I sure don't. What are those little little uh you know, the little piano thing? Like Not a piano, piano, but we need to get it tuned still. Play me a tuned. song, you're the piano man. Hey, piano brain. Play me a song <laughs> about Sam. Okay. Where, Cause where, we're all in the mood for melody. Well, that's as dorky as you've been in a while. Hmm. Oh, this thing, I've, I've not tuned it. Frog... Frog thinks. At, Did you see? Oh, it is. It, it, no, Frog doesn't understand my perspective because it's my perspective, not yours. You can't share your perspective on life with other people. You can only tell them what you think. And <laughs> with banjo Bill in the background. Wow. Wow, Vinny. You sound like Stallone. I got the Sylvester Stallone of the banjo world on the dark table Listen, today. Did you did you hear the uh, uh, balls to the walls last night? No, not yet. I l- I missed the first half. I woke uh, up. No, I woke up. Uh, it seems to be like a waking over. hour for me. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. So but anyways, point? yes, uh, we got um, another song from Just Edie, and it, it's uh, let me go look at it and tell you the title. It was a good one too. Yeah, but you don't when that. you play the rerun, you don't get the live music with the rerun. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, so, REO Speed Speedwagon. Time for me to fly. Oh. Uh, and she plays it with uh, straight yeah. across, you know, one finger across what the single fret, and uh, she does it from the top. A really great job. Yeah. Grimner said he's not a great fan of REO, and I'm not. Yeah, I think Rush and REO and Journey, they all sound about the same. You might even throw sticks in there. It's all like a, a bass type of music back, you know, emerging out of the 70s and to the 80s type of music, right? Uh, in the 80s, I think mostly sucked anyways. The music, uh, you know, long hair, uh, long hair bands, the hair bands, and the well, I hate to use the word heavy metal because it's, that's really like the uh, hardening of classic rock and more than heavy metal. Uh-huh. The metal got uh, madder and madder and became punks and all the other stuff. That uh, Music seemed to have hit a plateau in mm. so many ways. You don't really see a lot of great new types of music. You do no. you see some like old, yes. old types of music Can that are being reintroduced and popularized, you know, and, and special interest. Some people have, you know, make, made their own different amazing instruments, uh, string instruments and stuff. Mm. With 500 strings, a <laughs> whole bunch. But, yeah, music. Uh, uh, what was it? Who sang that? Don McLean? Hey, Port Flash. I like that. You know what? I've already got my own country going. My own cult. Yep. You'll have to defend it. I've, there's nothing to defend. I got, but I got it is four members in my cult, <clears throat> counting me. I'm the leader of the cult. Then, <laughs> of course, there's my co-pilot, <laughs> co-leader, <laughs> Mrs. Flash, the co-pilot. <laughs> and as she's trying to dump it on the cat, see, nobody wants to be responsible in life. How to tune Banjo Bill. But it's all a matter of... Hey, it helps if you're uh, tone deaf. But it helps if I you can before, have fun. That's, that. You're really not tone deaf. No such thing. You can tell when it's not deaf. Who is you? You is Me ambiguous. Me as an ambiguous you? The ambiguous Ca- you. Like, like the they? Like, like the... Un- like Cap and Buzzkill? Hey... Like when you're Captain Buzzkill? Yeah. You do a pretty good Captain Buzzkill, though. Wow, Vinny. Uh, we're going to get sued by people if you keep doing that. Okay. Uh. I'll your... stop when you scream. Are, nah. your, are your eyes bleeding? No, not yet. And it would be my ears that would be bleeding, then. not my eyes. No, the extreme is is it goes beyond your ears and into your eyes. Yeah. You scream bloody murder. No, I'm, that's the that's the right. yes, that's the uh, <clears throat> some lyrics that's the uh, oh. chorus from my new hit single. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Scream! Yeah, I was just looking at a, I was looking at a picture of what a dog, what damage a dog did to a door. Funny how that can happen. You're funny. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Hey, you know what else though? I think that you should be punished for using your imagination. I punished you already. How did you do that? Oh, you had me laughing. Though. Okay, let's go. Are we fighting again? What are we fighting about now, buddy? I don't know. I'm trying to huh? pick a fight. Huh? Huh? Oh, were you? I was. Was I not paying a good enough attention to your threats? Yeah. Were your threats did, not a... getting my attention? What? What? I, what? I did a. I did a. You, you, your mama joke and it made me cry. Oh, uh, but... my mom. Yeah, uh-huh. you, my mom was nice. Miss my mom sometimes. Who'd think, huh? But yeah, I had a I had a good thing with my mom. She was a nice lady. But yeah, there you go. Who would expect a guy like me to say a thing like that? Uh, 
Hey. What? You see, you see my Nick today? No. Yeah. Vinny Smack. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I changed it. There in the middle. I updated you right away to Vinny Crack, and you ignored me. Yeah. You ignored me. Pay me. Vinny Crack, I don't <laughs> The attention was paid. Hey, no. you play the harmonica. Or you want no. me to play the harmonica? No. No, I don't want anybody to play anything. Is this there's, your way of saying version. you don't want to That's be on the, the dork table for the last half hour? There goes my buddy. Looks like he got a load of wood. I hear him rolling by. Rolling. Rolling. Yeah. Rolling. See, you tell by the neighbors rolling. Squat. So you're an Arkansas neighbor snooper. Are you I'm like what? an Arkansas neighbor snoop? You got your nose on everybody's business. Can no, I just know who. I can tell who's going by by the uh, no, headset on. I could tell it was his truck because wow. it's special. Wow, that's they pretty isolated. Yeah, and that's pretty isolated. Then we got yeah, a lot of cars. A go few by people. Our house. There's a yeah. one, two, three, four, four people. Places that people are living in. You got a lot of laws where you live, being as it's so sparsely populated. Or well, you know, the, the sheriff lives about two miles from me. He lives uh, all the way back to the highway on the road that I'm on there, and then just turn left, and he's right there on the right. Yeah. But well, what kind of laws? Pops, uh, what, what kind of laws are they trying to catch you breaking that that you require police uh, in your vicinity to? I think they mostly work for people that shit. Uh, yeah, are like uh, have to do with narcotics but regardless uh, if you look like a, a person probably that maybe has long hair like you you'd probably get profiled right? uh, they would maybe suspect you of having some type of paraphernalia perhaps or uh, party favors pot perhaps right you know and they want to have a, a look around maybe that's when you always want to have your documentation device with you. very important you want to be able to mm. uh, preserve the evidence, right? And you mm. need to make statement as to the fact that, right? Uh, yes, this perhaps you might say uh, just to let you know this is uh, being recorded as a First Amendment audit, <laughs> uh, preservation of, of testimony of witness of evidence and yeah. so forth of the proceedings, whatever you know. You say there that you want to make sure all that they understand, mm. in fact, that. Yeah. Uh, you know, anything they do or say can be held against them. And you want to know why anything they'd like to know, you say, I ask why. It's like if you're riding as a pastor, uh, you know, and then they use these words, uh, well, I'd like to know who you are. Well, uh, I mean, in Arkansas, they don't they just they pull their stop. guns out and tell you to get up against the wall and search up, put their hands all over your will. nut yeah. sack looking for guns. If you're not careful, yeah, you could even end up shot. Ew, very, that sounds very terrible. important. Yeah, right. that's anywhere. Very bad. Right? But it's very important that you, you know, right. be cautious. Keep your hands in plain sight. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't, don't act like a dick and you know uh, talk to back. Very good. Don't get all that uh, this and that mm-hmm. telling them. You know, you, first of all, trying to educate anybody to the law, especially in cops, probably a few times with him. So. You're not there to educate them. You just want to have documentation and evidence and uh, ask the question why. You know, but realize no. that if at some point that you do not comply, yeah. you may die. Yeah. So you got to be aware of all that wow. right? because that's the reality of the world we live in. Wow. So it came step by step and incremental. So you want to protect yourself. Ouch. Words. Words, right? That Words sounds very, very terrible. What you say or do not say. Uh-huh. What do they tell you? Man. You have the right to remain silent. Until we beat it out of it. <laughs> the little frog about giving me a hard time. Hey, I'll put my glasses back. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Anyway. No, I don't care. <laughs> Give me a hard time or not. So I'll just, that's the whole point, you know. This stuff that we do on the internet, it, the things that need to be taken to heart and Care, concerned about are not my opinions about you. It would be more the results of Rockefeller Medicine or the truth about the Admiralty Court or fiat currency. Things that matter. Climate change being a hoax. All the things that they're. Uh, I don't think climate change is a hoax. Okay, what they're doing with it. Uh, for both sides. 
because they've screwed up the atmosphere. I'm telling you. Okay, all yeah. All yeah, bombs yeah, up in there yeah. and all the other stuff. Experimenting on this people. Is, we don't experience the same weather. I mean, what, I think we're supposed to hit 70 or something. I don't know. That's, I guess I'd check the weather. But, you know, okay, go, ask oh, him what oh, he oh, thinks. All right, wait, wait. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Uh, Vinny. Uh, Ask, but, get a get an outside opinion on this one from Grim. Ask what do you think about the? Because he's got his opinion about the climate change. As I'm not well. looking for opinion. I'm looking for oh, a fucking obvious day. statement of fact that ben, what is observational. Ben, listen, people. Listen, oh, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all there opinion is, to me. And there isn't. And well, that, so that's where you get lost because you don't complete it. I'm lost. Wait a minute. Lot, what the fuck am I lost for? I'm not asking for anything. I don't want anything. As so path, how am I, I lost? Let me explain. Ah, path. And me. I've learned this from how. I'm on my right. own you path. Need... What's it got to do with you? Nothing. No, I'm just explaining what an opinion is. Oh, an opinion is the way you feel about a thing. It doesn't. So mean what anything. they're doing now? See, they take the issue of climate change. There is and there isn't, and they've pitted these two groups against each other. Just like they've done with everything else. So climate change is not oh, 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 oh. Then they yeah. take and, and it's a make, tax. A way to make use tax. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. But because, look, they've mm. come along. I say they, the ambiguous mm. they. They've gone along <laughs> yeah. and they screwed things up real bad. Yeah. I mean, they don't just start spraying trails and uh, creating uh, persistent con trails and uh, that, you know, form in the. Uh, uh, how do clouds make? Look at that. They have to have these things that nucleate too. So they put particles in the air. It creates clouds. It's it's not uh, some fantastic conspiratorial science uh, thingy. Oh, contrails or chemtrails. Yeah, I mean, there's trails in the sky. What are they doing? Why are they doing it? Why do they happen now and not in the same fashion that they did for uh, you know many decades ago? I mean, back in World War II. In the World Wars, they were like, oh, they can see us if we're making trails. Let's make our fuel where it burns and we don't make trails. And Generally, that's what you had, a little puff out the back end. But now you're creating clouds. Why? Perhaps they really screwed something up up there, popping bombs and what all else they've done up there in the atmosphere. So, well, let's make money out of it. Let's sell carbon credits. Let's charge the people. What, what happened with the HR 2020 in Oregon when the senators of, of the uh, Republicans walked out uh, in the, their state meeting up there. They, they said, no, we, you know, there's a lot of people out there that aren't in the political process that don't get representative in the Pacific Northwest is a great example. You have these uh, mega you, you don't metropolises really, of Portland and Seattle. Uh, you don't really so believe. The minor ones, you so don't, Salem and Oregon on, and Vinny. so forth. These, the Vinny. power Vinny. and there's Vinny. more people concentrated they're more manipulated into these uh well you know better mostly i mean the liberal left wing i mean they have legitimate rights but it's all trickery but ah. uh, yeah what's, what's going all, on up what's there all Do you think the world the weather is the same is it just ah. natural progression to change because we got more sunshine or less sunshine uh, if you're what? doing solar radiation radiation management by producing artificial clouds whether it be on purpose or accident, it's having some type of an effect. And the temperatures are not consistent to what they were uh, some decades ago. Okay, certainly so when my grandfather was in the, the point still remains that we're being lied to, Vinny. How we're being yep. lied to does not matter to a dumb public. A dumb public is beyond understanding what you just said. That is the freaking point of what we're doing. <laughs> The John Q. public out there is wired differently. They hear us in a in a threatening manner that doesn't set well with their little sensitivities. We're from a different time. We're traveling through time. <laughs> We're going forward. But some no, people, that's what they're doing, Grimmer. Some yeah, people don't go anywhere. Yeah. Both sides. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, right that's to a, make profits off of imaginary money because it's and what's in the meantime considered we, real. We've got Greta, and I'm not <laughs> even sure who Greta is now. To, to a boy or a girl? <laughs> yeah, Grimner. Yeah, that was in the uh, chat going on last night during the calls to the walls. 
Turns out Greta is also a fella's name. And, you know, you always think of Hansel and Gretel. Uh, <laughs> why would a dude be named Gretel? And this probably has to do with the pronouns. And I must tell him, Hannah. Hannah knows. See, watch, watch this. Good boy. Good boy, Hannah. Hannah's a girl, you dork. Did you think it mattered that I called her a boy? Not to her, because uh, it's in my headphones. So it, it mattered to she you. She can't though, hear right? you. Yeah, she can't hear you through my head. Tell her I said good boy. See, she said good boy. Good boy, Hannah. Good boy. Wow. You really are out there sometimes, huh, Vincent? I'm just trying to make a point. Have you been taking opioids under... No. No? I haven't. Are you sure? You're not under any prescription... Are you taking any prescription Uh, medication? None. Uh, Okay. You sure? I don't even not even an ibuprofen. Not even an ibuprofen. What about a mushroom? Not even an aspirin. No, well, not a mushroom. Not a mushroom. No. Mm. Do you, well. I don't know. Maybe somebody snuck shit into your food source. Then how would you know it? Because it's yeah, you would go. Much hey, yeah. Demonstrated. Well. We've give, been given notice yeah. time and time again. If you don't yeah. know what the feed supply is, yeah. I didn't say food. I said feed supply. Uh, you know, they, they don't have food. Well, I'll be. That's the first little ant I've seen in many months. What is he doing in here? Uh, I had him gone from the house. I had a little ant ooh, growing there. Wow. A uh, little ant. Weirdo. You know, his, his life did not matter, as it turns out. No. Oh, okay. Captain Buzzkill. Uh, killed him. I killed him. I killed him dead. You know, I, I don't believe your truth. See? That's what this all well, boils down to. Your truth is different than my truth. And, no. And your truth, truth doesn't truth allow truth, you. And the, you want an opinion, and I'm not yeah. going to give it to you. But see, nope. yours nope. doesn't allow nope. me to I even no. speak. There you go. So no, you're, sir. You're no. just a control freak with a radio microphone. I don't, I don't want to disappoint you. Well, exactly, because you think you're controlling something. It's funny. You are in control. I'm controlling the flame. I'm controlling the ignition right now. No, the vibration. It's probably a frequency or something that you're on. No. Yeah, no. you're you're all stuck on authority. I will get my banjo again. And do what? Gonna Honey. sit on it. Ouch. I will punish your creativity. Don't, I know you've been doing that the whole show. Except, but that's the you, thing. you I, were it was your idea. Earlier. You tired it. Yeah. Well, is it not ridiculous to argue with people, though? Because when you, uh, when you think about it, everybody's Dude. wrong in an argument. That's why wait they're arguing. No, I'm wrong right here. About what? Look, what? What? Is, what? Grimner, Grimner said yeah. there is no member of the band Greta Van Fleet named Greta. It's like Jethro Tull. I get it. Yeah. This like, oh, he said no Leonard Skinner. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I thought Leonard Skinner was the lead singer. You no, know, it was the... It was a nickname for a school teacher they had as a when they was in high school. I didn't know that. Some hey, kind of inside, you? yeah. It was some kind of stupid kind of inside thing about somebody they knew, Leonard Skinner. Well, and then I they think just that's misuse of the again. name Greta, and I'm very disappointed that uh, in Holland again, because it says van in it, so it has to be from Holland or Denmark or somewhere. <laughs> it has to be from. <laughs> you see what I mean about it? This is what I mean. It's Mr. Authoritarian reads a freaking sentence, and all of a sudden, you are the uh, captain of the ship, and you're going to dictate where it's going to go, and who's going to go where, and how they're going to get there. And see, you, you don't hear it yourself. If you, if you don't get my slapstick, that's my mini snack today. Mini snack. Yes. Okay. So why are you... Uh, I, I should really make it official, right. I guess. Right. Should I? I don't know what that means. So you have to explain it before I can answer. The fullness. The uh, fullness that it be. The fullness? <laughs> yeah. What? Of an imaginary thing on a. Are you ready? Screen. Are you ready for it? Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I almost misspelled it. It's 16. I pills. left out the S. There it is. Ready? Oh. Boom. boom. Smack Vinny. Stick. Vinny Smackstick. Smackstick. Oh. You get it all now, boy. Ouch. Me? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, wise guy, eh? You're dreaming. He's dreaming in Arkansas. That's the sharpest Pokemon I ever had. 
So how do you like living our, in our Kansas? I love it. Oh, I think Rob's pretty comfortable. He didn't seem to be complaining. He lives in the fifth worst place to live in Arkansas. Okay. Hot Springs. Well, he's yeah. not complaining not about a, it. Well, demographics. Hmm. Okay. So, opinion, Spencer. That's what I mean is, your opinion about some place you're not even at. I've is, been there. Well, okay. Uh, 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 but... This See, you told to, me I had to have been there before. Right, and this is qualified. today. Yeah, and this is today. So you're you're still going to be out of time, out of sync with the timing, but you're probably more right in this one than with the Iran thing. What is that? Because when you got experience, it does tilt Iran. the scale some. I ran so far, but away. things change, man. So couldn't get away. You know, and the. The guy up the street is... I know professional people down there, okay? Let me just say. Well, okay, I know an Iranian guy that runs the store I use, so... I know him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, was it the same guy, Ahmed? <laughs> no. Uh, 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 uh. It's funny. Yeah, he's the the guy that bought the store that, the that guy, I use. The guy, that guy, the yeah. Yeah, what, 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 what's his name? He had, and his wife was... Who's, your, who's it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what's, that, he, that, what's the, that's guy? the guy? What's his name? Yeah, but he's from Iran. Yeah, but he ran so far but away. But he lives in no. He can't go back to Iran. He's got to stay why here. Why he ran so far away? That's See, there you go, I ran. Uh, well, the uh, Ayatollah. What did I call him earlier? I don't fucking know. Ayatollah Mussolini. Something. <laughs> Do a do a thing with your computer there, Mister Makeup Words. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you, could, you could just look. It up. You don't have to go through all that memorizing crap. That's what the computer's for. See, that's what the that's how it weakened the mind of the modern day. Because when they get older, they're not going to have memory of shit. They're just going to be computer literate. I wish I could plug my brain in, so, man. Yeah, well, what there's going to be available in 20 years is going to be a little bit more limited than it is right now. I, you know, hmm. you're going to have to get on board or be left out. In, uh, well, YouTube's going to start yeah. it. So when you listen what? to Grimner uh, from last night, yeah. Yeah, I didn't a couple hear him of yet. Talk about wire. I know, wire. Spoiler and, alert. And I saw Spoiler alert. Cowboy Tech had posted that. Oh, uh, if you're not okay. commercially viable yeah. on YouTube, you may just you know, you're like, bye bye. And how can you be commercial viable without having a thousand subscribers to go be monetized? And then because they made that, that was another rule they had used to. Huh. I have two subscribers and I can be monetized. And, but no, again, they keep changing the terms of service. Huh. So you. I'm going to say. Yeah. It sounds you like you're pissed at uh, YouTube, Benny. Am I close? No. Am I no, near it's it? Like, no. It's like, man, Grimner is. messed up. Because they already proved that they can do whatever they want to. You'll have to listen to this. So you're not now, You're not angry about this at all. You're good with this. No, I'm not good with well, it. Well, like, okay. Anyway. What are you saying? That's what, what I'm trying to find out. Would it do me any good to get mad about it? I don't know, would it? Or would you want to do something? I don't. Hey, you, you know what? Do. I got an idea. Let's find out. Why don't you break up? No. Break a plate and then tell me if it made you feel better when you break the plate. <laughs> Put it on the ground that? and smash it with your foot. Have you? Oh, fuck. I, I've smashed up some shit for money. Are you kidding me? I, I have really. Uh, I think I tried that once and I was like, man, now i got to clean it up. One time in San Francisco, I got paid to gut the inside of a building with a uh, jigsaw. <laughs> So what, there's like dishes and stuff left in there and you just started smashing them? Dishes? No, the whole inside of this guy's two floors um, building. Wanted you to cut it apart with a jigsaw? Right, with a um, sawzall. Sawzall. <laughs> yeah. the, the long one with the... You didn't yeah. cut any supporting... No, no, just the, just the inside. Floors and no, the guts walls inside I mean. were installed after they built it. So he just wanted the shit that he'd put in there really. It was all superficial, no structural, nothing. But a lot of weight and wood. So I got paid to destroy it and then get it out of the building, and other people came and loaded up and took it away. Did you have to wear any kind of special costume? No, it was just a friend of mine that owned a building and wanted to 
I was what for hire. What about hired. hard hat and goggles? If I wanted to, I could have. You didn't do it? No, nah, I didn't do any of that. I just didn't fuck myself up while I was working on purpose. It's really easy. So it's were called, there rules? I mean, did he tell you to do any of that? He said, take everything you see and take it out. Did, Put it on the front. Did he give you a hard hat and goggles? No. The, uh, no. Shoes? Gave me a sawzall <laughs> and some money. I didn't need all that other shit. Really? You know. Not working alone. I wear fucking glasses, Vinny. I don't have what kind of glasses. Eyeglasses, you idiot! Like mirrors? Do you get the mirrored oh, ones? Like they like the guy, with, the man with no eyes. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I wish you quit being so nice to me, boss. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but we have here it's failure to communicate. There are the anyway, you don't can. you ever talk to me like. <laughs> See what he made me done <laughs> now. You boys know I don't like to do this sort of thing. Don't be so good to me, boss. <laughs> ah, the good old days when we were young. <laughs> now they're raising us. Uh, people are all freaking crying over words all the time, like it's serious. Uh, I call it an illusion, but I get I get my ass handed to me for having that opinion. But nah, the internet's an illusion. <laughs> Have fun. You know what I enjoy got. yourself. <clears throat> what? You know what? 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 What do you get? Iced tea? Ice this ice right here is, a, a, yeah, it's braided horse hair. I got it from a guy who just got out of prison on my trip oh. in 2017. I met braided him, uh, horse hair iced hair. tea? No, I didn't say iced tea. I did. You said, what have I got said, here? And I said, iced tea. <laughs> oh, I got braided hair. So horse hair. You know, on it, on it, I have this, uh, okay. you know, like a big, it's like a big safety pin thing. It's ah, got a buffalo nickel on it. Got a picture? Uh, and then, yeah, it's got a buffalo nickel on but it. But you got a picture of it, sir. You can, minnow, you can fit a picture in mine, right? No. And then on that, I have uh, one of them plastic armbands, and I've got it coiled up inside there attached to that. It's uh, anti-tyranny news. Yeah. And that's been around the country with me since oh. uh, 2014, I reckon. Oh. And there, there's a there's a little like a dog tag and it says, uh, oh. speak the word. Are you superstitious? No, but kind of sometimes I guess. I don't know. You are or you're not? Well, you kind of, yeah, you're a believer. Or something. Well, if somebody sweeps my yeah. foot with a, I'm not saying I'm superstitious, mm. but if somebody sweeps my foot with a broom, I'll, I'll spit on the broom. Really? What does that mean? Yeah. In super I, I won't. Style. I don't. I don't put my hat on a bed. Wow. I don't. I don't split a pole if I'm walking with somebody. But I'm not super Just no, no. Sense, you know, taking a chance. Oh, taking a chance. I don't carry a rabbit's foot or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't think think a rabbit's foot could be very lucky. Do you rabbit? Uh, do you has drink? Lost it. Do you drink baby? Uh, do you drink baby blood under the full moon? You can tell us, Vinny. We'll understand. No, I don't. no. Have you I ever don't. wanted or felt and the urge the to stand under the full moon wearing a girl suit made out of real girls doing a dance? You know what? I was looking at a, a <laughs> clip from Silence of the Lambs, and when uh, when uh, um, Buffalo Bill is doing his little dance, and, like, yeah. and he tucks it and stuff, and he's wearing he is wearing the. the the skull of the uh, scalp of one of the girls he killed. <laughs> I dare, I never noticed that. I saw the like the uh, that it was headed on over that. That was a first pretty, time I ever noticed. Pretty old film. Things. I wouldn't watch it. It was like ten years after it came out. Ah, I ever a, watched it. A, my favorite, but it's sick. A, yeah, Ill. sickness. Yeah, FBI. Terrible sickness, and that is not that doesn't portray really. Maybe there is some place people left maybe in the FBI that are really out there trying to catch sick sickos and not go out and create their own you know like making their own Frankensteins or yeah. or these things are a product on, done on purpose and it's just such a big scale it's hard to it's hard to even imagine but society is capable of doing the most disgusting shit to us and they brag about it through the CIA and crap all the time. FBI, FDA, CDC. 
we're being exterminated like rats. Yeah. With our yeah. own consent, because we're lied to and kept in the dark about what things are really about. <laughs> so, uh, some of us are too old to do anything about it, like me. You know what I mean? So I just kind of, eh, I roll with it. But it's not very uh, intrusive where I'm at. Very loose rope. Instead of being in barbed wire like in America or England. Or Germany, probably. I would say Germany's probably like that. That real, uh, government everywhere. No? Yeah. I haven't been to Germany because I like Denmark. Does that mean you can't go to Germany, Germany if you like Denmark? No, it means I don't want to. There's no improvement to it, so there's no reason. I mean, to even do for it. a visit, man. If I was that no. close to it, I could mm-hmm. pop out a dream, dude. I feel yeah, better. Yeah, no, I'm not even. Uh, don't even want to. And, no. Uh, yeah, brows. No. What do you call them thing? Brats. Is that uh, what they call them in Germany? I don't know. Bunch you have to ask your called? you have to ask your number one fan. Well, you're close German enough. Shit. You ought to know that. I I don't know. Oh, you're German. okay. You're close to Texas, right? Right. So what you, you got an everything about ask Texas. Ask me anything. Ask me hey. How many ask Texans me. are there? <laughs> and what are their names? <laughs> a lot of them. There's a beginning Bob. <laughs> There's a lot of Larry. I was making a voting joke right there. If you want to think Bob. That. You know what I think is really ridiculous, Bob. though, Vince? What? You know what I think is huh? really ultra what? ridiculous? I didn't understand question. Okay. Never mind. Ask me again. What do I think? What? You do think? you... What I think is totally ridiculous. Uh, that you could think that they couldn't lick their dick. Nope. Close, though. Everything. This is another Richard joke. Mm, I don't know. But we're coming up to the end of our dork tableness in a couple of minutes. To get, do we have to put our clothes back on? Yeah, we have to do that and stop the show. Oh, man. And See, we're trying to... We're uh, trying to bear ourselves here to everybody. Oh, uh, I had fun in arguing. Contrast. we got to argue like that more often. You're funny. Uh, well, oh on the dork, we was dorky. And I know. I always like the contrast. I think it demonstrates contrast. well. Yeah, yeah, in order to get a night and day. Cause copper hundreds. You, you think it's all real? Ha <laughs> Never mind. You know they use that hundreds. Moby Dick. Moby Dick. Moby. The dick. I'm listen. I'm gonna have to back up because I slept through uh, several several oh. hours. But yeah, listen to. Uh, Moby Dick. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Do I still got their names open? I uh, Moose is there saying shit to you, my friend. Say hello to the Moose. Or the Hodge. Oh, that was something else. I would come oh, over there that. and slap the shit right out of you. What do you think of that? Quick <laughs> way. <laughs> you weren't listening. I was doing the guy insulting you, man. You just ignored it. You're a mean man, Benny. You're a very, very mean man. I'm going to be uh, mad at you now. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Here it is. This is your name. What do you got? Ishmael. Ishmael. Well, that's a hell of a way to end a dork table, you dork. There it is. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, yeah. listen to this. Yeah. Is the end. Very good. Uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be hearing from Lonnie Clark, and we're oh. going to get... You're, we're going to get her on over here at Real Liberty Media, the Age of Vision. She, uh, she's been broadcasting still in a, and now from a, a low-frequency FM around uh, the capital of Oregon out Ooh. there, the Age of Vision. And I'm thinking is what we can do is pull her in uh, local time is uh, what time? 11? I think 11 Pacific. She's broadcasting through speaker. But anyways, I got to get with her and, and uh, Grimner and get that set up. So we could probably bring her live. Now, she she airs to public radio there in Oregon on Saturdays and Tuesdays. And like I said, I think it's 11 or 1 o'clock on, uh, on Thursday. 
a.m. But she's uh, doing a live through Spreaker. But uh, Lonnie Clark, the age of vision, she's been doing radio a lot. She was worried that uh, she might not be liked over here because she's so anti-Trump. Uh, funny thing. Can can we get a big shout out for Trump in 2020 before we say goodbye? Mm, Trump 2020. Can we make America great again? Make America great again. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> hey! And that's a dork table for all uh, you dorks and dork cats out there in radio land. Roger, welcome over and out.